That's no ordinary scenario. That's hell in a cell. Lost in Anza near to the 30th. That cell door slammed here, locked inside it. The fear is real. For the first time ever in Boston, it's WWE hell in a cell. Heed my words. The scars you will not heal from. The scars that will haunt you for a lifetime are the emotional wounds that will not heal. It's WWE hell in a cell live in Boston, Sunday, October 30th. Tickets are available. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans, welcome back to MWF Ultra. What a guest we have on the telephone right now. The man headlining the big event June 16th in Arlington, Massachusetts. Multi-time WWE champion, the one and only Rikishi. Rikishi, thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, happy to be here. Everyone in the greater Boston area is talking about MWF Road to the Gold. As you make your Millennium Wrestling Federation debut, it's going to be quite an experience for the fans. Before you even step foot in the ring, you're going to take part in a VIP question and answer session with Test. You can interact with the fans as we try and raise some money for the Arlington Rec Department. You'll also be available for autographs and photos with the fans. It's an experience they don't get at a WWE event where the, the wrestlers are kind of off limits. This is a chance to interact and actually meet the legends they've seen on television for so many years. Well, first of all, I'd like to say this. I'm very proud and happy to be a part of uh, the, the event on June 16th, the Arlington Rec uh, Department. I'm looking forward to come out there. These are the parts, uh, the payoff that I personally get as being a professional wrestler, to be able to actually get out there and meet and greet with these kids and actually let them be able to, to, to shake our hands and, and be on a, a personal Q&A question type of deal. So. I'm looking forward. I've never uh, uh, worked up there for, is it MFW? Or MWF. MWF, there you go. <laughs> okay. But um, I, I, you can definitely know that Big Keish has been on the Internet doing my homework, and this this little kind of company to, that, that Keish is ready to back that ass up to. Exactly. A lot of rec departments in the area will be checking this event out to hopefully bring the event to them. And once they see Rikishi in action, I'm sure they're going to want to bring you to their event as well. And in this day and age, you know, it's awfully tough for the kids. At a younger and younger age each year, it seems, they get tempted with drugs and alcohol and premarital sex and such things. And this is an event to keep them off the streets, out of the proverbial woods and the train tracks and so on and so forth, and give them a fun night of action that they'll actually want to see and enjoy. And it also benefits the programs that they use in the town. Well, I'm just happy for the promoters of the company to be able to call Big Keys to come out there. Something like this is very good. It's also good for the kids. You never know. You might find a sleeper in the crowd. Somebody might be the next big Rikishi. Well, th that would be a challenge and a half, but in this day and age, you never know. Let's yeah. talk about the big match, though, that the Jackal and Commissioner Von Johnson have, has put together. You'll be taking on in singles competition Jimmy Jack Cash, the self-proclaimed strongest man in New England. Of course, he'll be representing Paul Bearer's trifecta. Uh, you know, he's... What do you think? I mean, with your girth against the power of someone like Cash, it, it could well, make for an interesting contest. Well, to be honest, uh, I don't know of this gentleman. Uh, I do know of his manager, uh, Paul Bear. Uh, we've been up the road many times, and I know how kind how Paul, how Paul Bear works. As this guy here, Jimmy Jack Cash, uh, I've looked him up on the internet. I've got a couple of friends that live up there in the Massachusetts area. They've called me, and they kind of gave nothing but but uh, positive things about this guy. So you can bet that I'm going to be doing my homework on this guy here. It's not something that's going to be a cakewalk for Big Keith, but he won't be different from no Undertaker or no Kane or anybody else that I've faced before. And if you don't know about Big Keith, tell Big Jack all he got to do is look, look me up. Oh, he's certainly familiar with Big Quiche. Him and Paul Bear have been meeting constantly from what MWF informants have told us. Of course, Paul Bear managed you back at WrestleMania 16 when you teamed with Kane to take on DX. He might have a little bit of inside information from that period of time, as you two have known each other going, what, back to 1992 from your time in WWE? Yeah, it's been a while. Like I said, me and Paul, uh, we've known each other for a long time, so I kind of know... Uh, if it's still the same Paul like I know who he is, I'll be ready for him tonight or he, that night. 
devious, ruthless individual. He's caused a lot of turmoil here in the MWF. For, you know, to be fair, he's done a lot of good in the communities we've done events with, but when it comes time for business, when it comes time to go out to the squared circle, the man cannot be trusted. And not only do you have to worry about Paul Bearer, but you have the MWF heavyweight champion, Sudden Impact Dylan Cage in that camp, and also the undefeated hoochie player, Danny Jacks. How do you well, counter worrying about these gentlemen getting involved that night? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm the type of wrestler that, you know, it's like I really don't have to look over my back because all they're going to see if they plan to do something to Big Keith, you can bet that all my fans will be there with their yellow glasses on, chanting my name and actually giving me the heads up if they decide to do something behind my back. Now, I also see that you have Big Test that's up there. Big Test, me and Test go way back. So if in case I do need help, all I got to do is holler. Well, so you might even have backup, not only Tess, but as you just said, there'll be hundreds and hundreds of your fans in attendance that night, and their tag team partners in a different sense. Well, let's break it to you this way. This is Kesey's first time coming up there working for this company. And you can bet this, by the time I leave that night, they will remember Rikishi in this company. Paul Bearer, Jimmy Jack Cash, all you guys that decide to plot whatever you want to do to Big Keith, all I got to say to you guys is just bring it. Unbelievable. It's going to be a heck of a matchup right there. The size, the power, the legend of Rikishi taking on a hungry up-and-coming athlete. He's a man that just took part in the New Japan Dojo out in Los Angeles, Jimmy Jack Cash. He's found great success here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation since his debut in 2003. You know, this might not be your proverbial catch-as-catch-can type match, but it's going to be raw power and physicality like you haven't seen in quite some time here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Well, you can bet this, before I end this uh, interview here, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of those Millennium Wrestling Federation, all the sponsors and everybody were able to put this event together. Uh, all in all, besides all this uh, uh, in-the-ring stuff, the main thing is what we're, we're putting this show on, this event on for. And for that, I'd like to thank all the sponsors, thank the promoters, Dan Riders, for inviting Big Keys to be a part of a uh, of a good deal up there. I'm looking forward for June 16th. It is. This is the type of, of event, as we spoke of, that the, the kids need in this day and age. There aren't enough entertaining events for kids to keep them off the streets and keep their time occupied instead of diving into the danger zones. And plus, you know, you've seen it as you've traveled the country. The independent wrestling scene right now isn't in great shape. There's a lot of people that belong sitting in the seats competing in a ring. The Millennium Wrestling Federation, we do our best to bring you the top athletes around, and in this case, some of the top superstars in the world, where you have some in the caliber of Rikishi appearing in your hometown, and you won't just see the superstars, you'll meet the wrestlers, VIP ticket holders can take part in that Q&A session. Everyone can be able to get an autograph and a photo with these stars. And it's just, like you said, it's a great way to give back to the fans that have supported you for so many years. I mean, it's been almost 20 years since you debuted on national television. Well, you can bet this. I guarantee you this. With the kids out there on June 16th, you, you can bet they'll be safe because they'll be at our event. Absolutely. I know you have kids of your own that have been highlighted on WWE television in the past. And you know what it's like. It's difficult to grow up in this day and age. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, like, like you said, I am a father, too, as well. I do have kids, and, you know, I, I, my kids are just as normal as everybody else's kids, and we go to the, to the, daily, the, the daily fight of leading your kids the right way, uh, making sure that they make the right decision in life and kind of uh, helping them out the best way you can. But it's up to them, to the kids themselves, to be able to make the decision, whether it's right or wrong, uh, to turn the left, turn right. So, but to have events and... And uh, 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 things like this may be wrestling, may be a concert, whatever the deal it may be. Stuff like this helps out these kids because, you know, like I said, uh, you, you never know. You might find a sleeper out there. Some kids will be at the event on June 16th. And just for him to watch us perform and for, for him to be close with uh, the Q&A questions, there might be something in there that just gets out and turn his life around. Exactly. They could be inspired not only to maybe join the professional wrestling rank someday, but in life in general. A lot of kids, they live through the superstars they see on television, and if they can pick up a trick or two, trick or two I should say, to live through their daily lives, I mean, that that's, must be a great feeling as you deal well, with this constantly. I'm definitely, I'm definitely looking forward for the uh, Q&A session. Unbelievable. You've been coming to the Boston area for, like we said, close to 20 years now. Some favorite Boston memories, competing in the Boston Garden in the Fleet Center and now TD Bank North Garden. 
Does anything stand out from all of your appearances in those great venues? Well, there's so many, uh, there's so many memories that I don't even think we have time to go through down the line. But I do miss uh, Boston. Uh, the Boston Gardens was one of my favorite places to work to, uh, work in those events back in the day. Uh, for some reason, the Boston fans are different from all the other fans throughout the world, you know. But uh, I do look forward to coming up there. I got a lot of friends up there in the Boston, uh, Massachusetts area. There are a lot of good restaurants out there, and, and I'm looking forward for the lobsters up that way. Are you looking forward to seeing our good friends at Kowloon with Andy Wong? I know he's always ecstatic when the MWF yeah, comes in. I'd like to send a shout-out to, to Kowloon and my friend Andy. <laughs> Andy Wong is tremendous to the athletes of the MWF, WWE. It doesn't matter what wrestling promotion. They're good people to deal with, and they just make the after-event atmosphere even better for us. Exactly. Well, we're running out just about out of time in this segment. We're going to be speaking with Jimmy Jack Cash shortly. Rikishi, any final thoughts for the great fans in this area as we prepare for Road to the Gold on June 16th in Arlington? Well, I'm just looking forward. Like I said again, June 16th is the night to remember. This will be the first time that Rikishi meets up with Jimmy Jack Cash and Paul Bearer. I, 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 I'm going to ask you to tell this man or to let him know exactly who he's going to be dealing with on June 16th. You and I, you know me a lot better than most of those guys up there. So just for the night, I ask you that you, you, you suggested that he does his homework on Kishi. He looks at some tapes of Kishi. Go online, find out what type of man I am, because I guarantee you this, that he's definitely going to meet the real Rikishi that night, June 16th. Wrestling fans, like we said, not only are you helping out a great cause, but you're going to see some action you're going to remember for a long time. Totally interactive event, VIP question and answer session, autographs and photos, all before a wild, hot night of in-ring action. Rikishi takes on Jimmy Jack Cash of Paul Bear's Trifecta. Be there live. You won't want to miss it.